we are on the left side of our apartment area. Oh, it's hard to kick in the snow. There's a lot more snow here. See, we're right next to the field, but it's a lot less snow over there. I'm gonna turn this around actually on this person's porch and try to videotape. I didn't get any footage of me playing with Sonoma at Meme's outside because his paw was bothering him. You know, we'll bring it. But I guess he's totally fine now because he's playing in the snow. And he couldn't be out for like two minutes before when my mom tried to bring him out. It's hard to know how much we got because it blew so much. Our, I know it's not our, but front yard area. That's it, Sonoma, bring it! Is like bare and grass and then all the snow. Apparently there's like no sun over here. Well, it actually doesn't make sense because my window gets a lot of sun in my room. And it was that area. So, this is a nice spot. I've never played with him just right over here. There's an emergency exit to get out of our apartment right over here. And I literally have my phone on someone's porch. <laughs> and look at Santa bring it! Good boy! He hasn't really gotten to play in the snow because of his paws. So, oh. Oh, right, and leave it. It's in the water. Let me get it. Let me get it. I just threw his Clementine orange ball and it goes right into the snow and disappeared. I didn't think it would be that hard and now we can't find it. So that's why we have these balls and I need to always use them. So it's kind of hard to pass in case I can't throw. Luckily, this is a pretty wide area. It's real straight, and I'm staying on the left side, away from the road. But yeah, I have no idea where his orange ball is. Like, it's over there somewhere, and I kept kicking the snow around. Woo! So, I don't know. I don't think we really got a blizzard. My mom said that the, the conditions of the wind is what made it a blizzard. I don't know. You're gonna lay down in the snow? I was thinking about getting him a snow coat. Just like a coat in general. He is six. I mean, he wants to lay in it right now. Good boy, and stay. I'm like, should I? Like, is it a waste of money right now? He's a dog that, yes, he does have a short coat, but it's a very, um, double and like waterproof coat so i'm not sure and yes i've been wanting to get him snow boots slash like hot pavement boots for a long time for many years and i've had the hardest time getting a brand a size to fit him so i kind of gave up right now on the boots until they open a dog store of all shoes where he could try them on but i'm having fun right now let's see if i can find that ball just moving the snow everywhere see a lot of people didn't clean up after the dogs out here but it's not going fast now yep So people who have dogs, let me know. Do you buy your dog a coat? And it's not just because it's not for fashion. I know lots of people do that and she which its own for or whatever it is. Um to each its own, but for his age and his breed and Can I consider getting him one, or is it like a waste? He's been fine without the boots, unless the salt is what irritated his paws. 
which I don't know, and it's quite a possibility. I'd rather have boots that work than a, a coat, but that's just tricky. So, yeah, let me know what kind of dog you have, if you have a dog, if they have a winter coat, if they like to go play in the snow. If he starts eating the snow, it means he's thirsty to go inside. He seems very comfortable, very happy. It's not windy at all, so it makes it feel a lot better. It's only like 30 something degrees, so it's not warm. Here, Mark, get your ball. Good boy. Yeah, so we found a nice spot to play when it snows. So I think we're going to be here a lot more often. You'll see us here later. And if the other ball shows up, I'll let you know. See you later. Bye.